Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And in the last video, I managed to make my way over to Swansea with whatever I was carrying that came in from Norwich. Taking in, if I go to the world map, taking in some of the sites on the new roads. Uh, where was it? This road here. This, this one right here. Uh, interesting, an interesting road, a road that I believe may not exist, although somebody in the comments may have told me exactly which road this is, perhaps some sort of B road, I do not know. I am recording this well in advance of that video coming out, so unfortunately any anything that you may have said in that video I will not be picking up at this point in time. In today's video, as I did mention in the last video, I think I'm going to take this, some barley, from Swansea to Rotterdam. And the reason for this is, one, I would like to actually unlock um, these little bits of road going in this direction, which is something I've not done. Uh, underneath there too, making my way all the way down the M4 and then on to the M25, all the way around the M25, M26, uh, doing doing all of that, make my way over to uh, Folkestone, go over to Calais and then s a lot of these roads have been, have been explored but what I could do is on my way to Rotterdam, instead of going around this road here, what I could do is peel off in this direction and go around, perhaps, uh, what could I do? Yes, go around this direction to get to Rotterdam and, and unlock a few more roads, maybe even go all the way around there if possible. So that might be something I end up doing, though that will not be in this video because today's video is going to probably probably be from Swansea going maybe down to Folkestone if I manage to get that all done within a timely manner. So make sure you stay tuned to enjoy some driving in Britain for what should be in theory the last time in a little while. but. Knowing Euro Truck Simulator 2, I will record this video, I will do a couple of more videos, something will happen, it'll reset me back to my garage in London, and we are back in Britain. Who knows? But as I said, make sure you stay tuned, and let's see what this 15 tonnes of barley is like to haul around. The trailer looks a little short, and my cab is a little long. This is going to look very, very odd, I think. Okay, the journey to our pickup point does not look too bad overall. Switch on some lights. Does not look like a, a long journey. Now I've started off at exactly where I left off in the last video, which was um, at the at the, what do you call it, the garage, the workshop, whatever they, whatever they call it, the service, service garage, uh, that's probably what it is called, ah, Cargill, this is where we're going. And I did take a look, uh, if you remember at the end of the last video I said that I had a couple of, um, a couple of mods I wanted to see if they worked or not. They do not appear to work, so unfortunately, that is that is that. They do not work with this particular Scania, and it is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. So there we go. The Scania still looks pretty. I would say it looks pretty, pretty nice, pretty well done. 
Hopefully everybody is having a great day. Whatever day this is coming out on, it should be a Friday. I'm just trying to think what date this is going to be on on that that particular day. It is going to be in March, I think. It should be in March. Stop right here. And let's go ahead and grab the grab the um, cargo. So what is it? Where is it? There it is. So what is it? Where is it? Oh. Okay. Um. Hang on. What is it that I'm taking? Barley. Barley could be in one of these. This, this could be something that you would find barley in, a, a, a tanker full of barley. I think, I think I'm going to do that. It could look a little better. It, it could certainly look a little better. So I'll go ahead and do that. Sure. That's now 26 tons of barley. And it's worth more money. Okay. Uh, something, something is, something has changed. But I'm going to take it anyway. I, I was not expecting that to happen. But I need to actually back up a little. This is um not the easiest way of getting to it. Now I know where this is because I had a drop off at a similar similar-ish place not so long ago this is a shame I cannot do a handbrake turn here of course I've done exactly what I did the last time as well which is effectively gone round the wrong direction so what I'm going to do is exactly what I did last time, which is turn it around to the correct direction. That way, I can reverse it by looking in that mirror, and it will be, in theory, extremely easy. But I do say in theory, because, well, in practice, this doesn't always go so well. This time, it did. Let's go ahead and couple that. Should we have a look outside? Let's see if there is a... I think that actually looks reasonable. Very, a very large gap. That is a very, very large gap though. Because I suppose this would be for something that had a shorter. Yes, this should be with something that is much shorter. Uh, where should I take a picture? I know. I know what I'll do. Try not to clonk the trailer, that, that is for sure. And I know I can turn out this way. So this should be a good spot for a picture. Actually, that does work. So if, if I were to do that, um, roll it ever so slightly, maybe change the time of day a little. Not too much, just a little. Actually, where, where would the right time of day be? That is probably the be best time of day that I can, that I can do. 
Okay. And there. That should do. Should get into the truck. I cannot drive from Chase View. That would be a problem. Okay. And uh, it is time to begin begin the journey. That was actually a pretty bad start. Almost clipped the trailer twice. The trailer is heavy. I can certainly feel that. It does feel pretty heavy overall. And I know this is a 50 mile per hour a road, but I think perhaps it should not be. 30 will, will be perfectly all right. Until we get to the main road. Once we get to the main road, then we can start putting, putting our foot down. There we go. Then it goes back down to 30. I'm going to need this lane anyway. No, I'm not. I'm going to need this lane. I was looking at the... I was just looking at the sat nav and it is telling me to change lane, but I'm not entirely sure if that is correct. I should have enough fuel to do this. Oh, this, this is quite heavy. Because we're coming up to a roundabout and I suppose, yes, I, I do need to be in that lane, actually. Sort of worked. M4 East, that will do. Uh, there appears to have been a problem here. That, that lorry very much had cut. I have no idea what is going on here. But I've somehow managed to do that. I've managed to use... Oh dear. I've somehow managed to use a roundabout correctly in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Excellent. Oh, that, that is a nice uh, trailer. Sixth gear in this, in the 6L anyways, is quite, um, quite tall. This is a very tall gear. I suppose I should be in in this end lane. I'm trying to think about what I could speak of, speak of in this in this video. There isn't really much. Um, let me think. I'm 
actually, something I could mention, one of the reasons that I put, I put that specific mod on, oh, I am slowing down. One of the reasons I, I put that mod on that I was looking to change my lighting and things like that uh, on, on the cab, the reason, the reasoning behind that was a truck that I had seen on, on one of my journeys. So I was on the motorway and I saw this lorry and it's had an excellent, a really, really nicely done uh, setup with the lighting. I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could replicate something similar to that on, on my Scania. And it was a Scania, um, a Scania NG, which is what these are. Now, old style, um, old style display boards, not the smart motorway ones. If you're wondering why I've not pulled over into the left hand lane, it is because I saw what the sign said and I would have to move across once again, which I, I would have to do about here. Apparently this is, oh yes, this is back to 50, isn't it? It's with average speed cameras. Average speed cameras are very annoying. The amount of times I've been through average speed camera zones, um, it, it, is, it is quite a problem. Speaking of a problem, 20 miles per hour on the M4. I suppose there is a lot of traffic, but then everybody accelerates. Lovely, lovely tunnel again. Everybody is overtaking me. This, this is quite heavy. 26 tons is is not something to be sniffed at. I mean, this thing weighs um, what, 20 times more than my car does. So yes, not not something to be sniffed at. I just saw a 60 and then it has gone back down to a 50. Uh, a little confused. I suppose we are coming up to 7 Bridge, 7 Crossing. Oh, do I have to pay a toll on this? Because I think it was a toll bridge. Or was the toll only... I've not paid one. Hmm. Could this be... Could this be another screenshot opportunity? Potentially. Shall I see? Let's have a quick look. Well, with that... With that car having the number plate, the wrong colour number plate, it sort of ruins it. But if I did take the picture like that, that could work. Just bring that focusing back. In fact, that sort of just works as is. Like that, uh, perhaps just a touch of roll in that direction. Maybe? I think so. I think that will... That will do. Okay. Time to continue with the journey. So yes, I, I saw this... I saw this lorry. And it was very nicely kitted out. Well decorated. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, was that roadworks? 
There's a sort of orange board. M4, M32, that is the road I want. London, Bristol. Oh, that sign is wrong. The way that's the way that sign is written is wrong. Try to accelerate anyway. Oh, this could have been a good opportunity for for a picture. I've missed that one. Bath and Stroud in that direction. Now I should be able to just go across. I'm also speeding. I will let the truck slow itself. It is not slowing itself down. There. Oh no. Quick thinking. So one one of the things I think I think SCS should really, really work on, and I have mentioned this before, they should really, really work on um, AI. Just get their AI working. You could have some of the some fantastic AI. If that plane come from Heathrow or Gatwick or something. Given how compressed this this all is, you could have some fantastic AI in this in this title. Oh yes, I remember somebody asked me which. Somebody left a comment asking which AI or which traffic mod am I using. So I will try to respond to your comment. This is now weeks ago from, from where I'm saying this. Ah, BP on one side, shell on another. Okay. Uh, yes, this is, this is weeks from when I may or may not have replied. I do apologise if I've not yet replied and it is weeks later. But um, yes... I will try to respond. I think it's something ETS2 real traffic or something like that. I will maybe maybe what I will do is oh what's happened to that wheel? That bus has a wheel issue. But yes, maybe I should make a an extra video just showing what what's my uh, current current set of mods are that could be useful Just gently going through that could not have that plane could not have been from Gatwick. And I'm trying to work out where that uh, that plane could have been from. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. What time is it? Okay. Nine o'clock. Do not think I need any lights anymore. I can see cars clearly in front of me and behind me. So that is perfectly all right. The sun would actually be higher up now at this time of day than it is showing on on this particular on this particular title for some reason. Also this is not 60. This is all 70. I have no idea exactly where we are on the M4. I'm assuming we're, we're, we've gone past Swindon. Uh, we are heading towards Slough, uh, the Slough area. Reading, probably past Reading as well. Make an early move. 
so it is clear what I want to do. That plane is very low and turning very interestingly. Okay, that has to be... We must be coming up to Slough then. Because that has to be from Heathrow, though they are much higher up than that. Ooh, that is nice. Roadworks van up ahead. I'd rather not get involved with that. Come on, truck, accelerate. Or I'm going to have to go back into this lane. In fact, I'm going to have to go back into this lane full stop. We are we are at Heathrow, or near Heathrow. Um, to avoid London low emission zone, use M25. Yes. So if we continue on the M4, this takes us right the way to... This, this road will take us all the way to the road that um, I mentioned in... Is it this junction? Yes, it is this one. That I mentioned where there's a bit skipped near Park Lane. So that little underpass and it comes around, that's Piccadilly. And this, this road, that road underneath the M4, will take us... Come on. Will take us all the way. Oh, railway. Will take us all the way to um, to Piccadilly, the A4. So that takes us all the way to Hyde Park Corner. Uh, it it does not stay as the M4. It it does change. It becomes the A4. Although the A4 also exists. So it sort of runs, the, the M4 turns in, connects up to the A4 at, where does it do that, is that Chiswick? I think it might be Chiswick where it does that. A Chiswick is a, is a place in, uh, I need, okay. This is, this is not right. There should be three lanes here. Where where exactly is no? No, this is not right. Okay. Um yes, Chiswick. Chiswick is um if we go follow the Thames along, go past Chelsea and that area. Um heading towards Richmond. That that is that's Chiswick. Uh Kew Gardens area. For those people who may want to visit Chiswick someday, I, I, I do not know. I think I'm going to have to change lane again. Dear oh dear, many many lane changes. Which one's this? Is this going to be the A3? Yes it is. A3, London, Guildford and Kingston. Gatwick, Dartsford, uh, that, and that's going to be Gatwick Airport, of course. Dartsford, M20, this is the way we need to go. Of course, the M25 is London's, London's orbital motorway. Why is it 60 here now? Okay. That is also supposed to be lit up in red. The, the the red does not seem to be lighting up properly. Dartford Cross Crossing, Western. Yep, this is this is good. This is the Gatwick Junction. Um, Crawley and Gatwick is that way, not too far. So yes, London Orbital Motorway, which goes all the way around London, does not stay as the M25 all the way. So there is a Junction One to this and it, when it gets to the River Thames you've got the Dartsford crossing both the tunnel and um, oh wait that that lane just became never mind I was trying to be helpful uh, interesting 
turn into the services. Also, there seem to be a lot of BDF tandem lorries here. I think I might need to look at removing them because that is far too many for for this title. And coming into the county of Kent, the Garden of England. Still continuing straight here, um, which means that I need this lane. So this is where things change. If I stay on this road, this becomes the M26. The M25 goes that direction, and that is heading towards the crossings. So you have the tunnel, and you have uh, the, the suspension bridge. Seven Elks and Hastings in that direction. So I'll go towards Brighton Way, and this way is the way to Dover. Actually, I think I'm making pretty good time, so what I will do is end the video when we get to Folkestone, because we will be there momentarily. I say momentarily, shortly. It won't be a moment. Actually, it might be a moment. Oh, understeer. Hello. I think it will be a moment actually, the next junction on this is going to give us the, the channel, so okay. But I will end the video once I suppose I've parked on the, on the train, no it is channel 11A. Stop indicating there, start indicating there. in we go back towards Europe oh we have to go through all the new stuff isn't there uh, welcome to Euro Tunnel this is not something I have ever been to in real life uh, freight that is that is me oh look I'm a Morrison's truck an old Morrison's truck. That, that is a very old logo. Oh, am I actually stuck in traffic here? Is, is that what has happened? Wait, has this changed? I do not remember the bumps. Are they bumps? Cars seem to just go straight over them. Oh no, they are definitely bumps. Yep, they are definitely bumps. This is perhaps new. Okay. Uh, freight, freight. But that says freight two, so I'm going to, I'm going to take that one. And then there is a stop. Okay, I have stopped. Now what? Do I just keep going? I stopped. Nothing happened. So, I thought there was some sort of check that goes on. Or is that slightly further up? Oh, I'm, I'm confused now. Uh... Sure, let's go through lane five. Seems open. Ah, there is the check. So what was that stop for multiple checks, I suppose? Still got that slightly wrong. There we go. Start the border check. Press enter. Sure. I will do that. Checking your documents, please wait. Any time now. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm just taking a bunch of barley. 
I have to say, from from what the channel used to be, in terms of how the entrance was shown, to what it is now, uh, it is very, very different. And actually quite excellent. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Wait, what? But so I've just been through checks. Oh, I have to do it again. Okay. Second border check. Sure. go. Now what do I do? Lorry behind me. Oh, I remember. I just drive through and just continue. Continue driving. There's, I remember there being no speed limits here, so at one point I just went as fast as I possibly could. Although somebody appears to be stuck there for some unknown reason. Horse Nord Logistics? No? Okay. That was another good gear change. And I turn in... Oh well, I suppose it, it's telling me exactly where I need to go. Right. This is where the steepness of this, I have to be very, very careful with how steep this is. Retarder does not have to be on maximum, but it is going to be as close as I can probably get it. That is maximum. There we go. Um, I suppose this is the train for today. I will drive in hope that this is all okay. I suppose I could have just drove down the side. I've done this a number of times before and I'm never sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. But there we go. Are we uphill or is it... no. That is just downhill. Perspective. I thought we were not uphill, but then when I let go of the accelerator, it slowed down quite quickly, but I suppose that might just be the engine braking. If I do that, yes, it just coasts. But there we have it. That is the end of this video. So, I will stop here, switch off the engine, and say, well, let's have a look at possible destinations. There it is. That is where we are going to, that is where we're going to go. And this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below, letting me know what you think any suggestions you might have, any places you want me to visit. It will be delayed by many weeks, but hopefully um, I do manage to visit those places, one town, one city at a time. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll get those words out correctly at some point. Uh, do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below as are links to my social media and Discord server. 
That is all from me, and I shall see you next time in Euro Truck Simulator 2, where we will be going to Rotterdam for the first time in this particular career. <laughs>